Also on Raw, we went on a journey with Bray Wyatt as he looked into the past and his future. On one side, he recounted the story of a teacher who called him evil as a child. But he said that that evil was necessary to rid the world of people like John Cena. And that would be exactly what he did at Payback. Following a match with Luke Harper, Cena was down and out for the count as Bray Wyatt displayed why he has the upper hand heading into their last man standing match. Bray Wyatt cut an amazing promo. I think we all know that he's great on the mic, and I think we all have come to expect great things from him each week on the mic. He's always captivating. He always manages to tell a great story to entertain us. Um, that being said, I'm just ready to get, get on with the match because at this point, it's been the same theme without changing and has been rammed into the dirt through two straight pay-per-views going into a third. I just pray that this is the end of it because I'm starting to fall into the Brandon camp where I'm just getting sick of hearing Wyatt singing he's got the whole world in his hands every damn week. Like It's, it's, it's getting very old at this point. I want him to do something different. Uh, other than that, Wyatt's coming out with the, the entrance with the cell phone lights. That That's cool as shit. Uh, and, you know, again, I, I think this is a common thing for me this episode. Just bring on the pay-per-view. I'm ready to move on. First of all, I think Bray Wyatt desperately needed this Raw in London, England, because what we've seen over the past couple of weeks is the crowds over here in the States have not been as receptive to his shtick. We saw that the London, England crowd on Monday was dying to participate in that song. They were dying to cheer Bray Wyatt. They were very into the fact that they finally got to see this whole act. And it definitely came off well for Bray Wyatt. So he definitely received a much needed boost in that category. As far as the promo, it was good. It was nice to see him kind of talk about something different, kind of freshen up the dialogue a little bit, which was nice. The John Cena run-in was cool, and I don't see anybody giving credit for the fact that John Cena didn't dismantle the, all three of them. And in fact, he did a run in from behind and then he ran away from Harper and Rowan but don't that we can't talk about that we're just more focused on complaining with the fact that he won by disqualification against Luke freaking Harper but anyway wait a minute are there people actually complaining about a 14 time world champion yep remember John nobody, Cena buries everybody if he doesn't lose clean that's how it works no, nobody on this panel Anyway, Manny, you said that you were ready to get on with the match. I'm ready to get the match over with. That's my point of view. Just, I cannot wait for the referee to say 10. I don't care who wins. I don't care who loses. Just moving on. Get us on to the next thing. And I'm just excited to see Money in the Bank when we look as though we're going to freshen up the card a little bit. So Bray Wyatt was his usual charismatic self with his promo that opened Raw. But for some reason, I felt that he was a bit more grounded than usual. He still went for the elaborate prose with this story about the teacher, but it actually tied into what's going on today in the feud in a pretty straightforward way. His teacher called him evil. Well, he embraced that, and he's going to use it to defeat John Cena. There was some great stuff in there where he called Cena out for his plastic smile and acting like everything was A-OK -okay while the world burned around him. And I love that line where he said, I will be the last man standing, or I promise no one will ever stand again. So now, apparently, Bray Wyatt cares about winning matches. Alrighty then. You know, he used those amazing mic skills to define a clear and achievable objective while still somehow maintaining his eccentricities in the process. This is is the Bray Wyatt that I love. This is Bray Wyatt at his best. And while it doesn't completely erase everything that's happened, we'll get there next week with the overall view of the storyline on our payback preview. But for this one week, it actually worked a great deal to help me care about this feud again. Oh, and Charlie, I wholeheartedly agree with you when you were talking about how this was a much needed episode of Raw for Bray because of how well the crowd bought into what he was selling. That's great evidence as to the audience actually helping to tell hey, a hey, story. Hey. I'm the only one allowed to throw around big words around here. What the fuck is an eccentricity? It's the traits of being eccentric. Oh, okay. I get that. But anyway, like, I think we all agree that 
it was a great promo, especially the last line that you mentioned. But does that change the fact that, or does that change your mind about whether or not you want this feud to be over or not? Hell no. Okay. I, I mean, I just think that's what we were all getting at. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't change it at all. I'll, we'll, I'll talk about that. I, I have to save it for our show next week, but I do have thoughts on that. But I'm just looking at it for this one night only, and they did entertain me here. I mean, the image of having Bray Wyatt, you know, kneeling over John Cena's unconscious body and having Harper counting down uh, or counting up to 10 as if it was the last man standing match. I mean, does that do anything for any of us to, you know, even get us excited for the proposition of Bray Wyatt winning this match clean? I mean, if I cared, it would probably have done something, but I'll deliver my little spiel on that next week. Yeah, because I don't want to give too much away because we'll be talking about, like, the actual matches next week and what I look forward to in the matches and things like that. So stay tuned. But I think it was a nice moment, though. It was a nice visual to close out the show. But then again, this is one week in a very, very long feud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>